Nate Lyles here with another weekly dose of Geeky Notes. Let's get into it. Daredevil Born Again. A new trailer premiering at this year's D23 Expo teases how closely the Disney Plus series will resemble the Netflix show. The cast from the Netflix series will be returning including Charlie Cox's Matt Murdock and Vincent D'Onofrio's Kingpin. Joined by the castmates and John Bernthal's Punisher as well as Deborah Ann Walls, Cameron and Elvin Henson's Foggy. D'Onofrio expressed to Rotten Tomatoes. There are some things in this show that go much further than we did on the original show. There's one thing in particular that my character does that I can't believe made it into the cut. Daredevil Born Again is set to release March of 2025 on Disney+. Plus. Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power Season 2. This fantasy series based on J.R.R. Tolkien's IP released a behind the scenes featurette August 12th with the final trailer hitting us August 14th. The villain Sauron, played by actor Charlie Vickers, will begin his rise this season. After the season one finale had aired, Vickers told Deadline, It took me into the set that Galadriel discovers in the first episode with the orcs through the walls and Sauron's sigil on the forge. They took me in there and said, This is your world. You're playing Sauron. The series takes place thousands of years before The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings books and is set in the second age of Middle-earth. Rings of Power Season 2 starts August 29th on Amazon Prime Video. Masters of the Universe will be directed by Travis Knight. Nicholas Galitzine will star as Prince Adam, a member of the royal family who is secretly the superhero He-Man. Per deadline, actress Camilla Mendez has been cast as the warrior Tila, the captain of Eternia's royal guard responsible for protecting the royal family. Plot details are being kept under wraps, but the film's concept revolves around He-Man, of course, defending the world from his arch nemesis, Skeletor. I mean, with today's technology, I'm sure it's going to look at least leagues above the old Masters of the Universe, hopefully. Craven the Hunter, starring Aaron Taylor Johnson, had a new trailer drop that revealed the Rhino character and more of the violent action to be expected. Taylor Johnson told The Hollywood Reporter that Craven the Hunter is a different kind of Marvel film, in part due to it being shot entirely on location, which is going to make all the difference. It's important for this character to be in the real world. It's important for the authenticity of the story. When you're running on the streets barefoot, you're taking those elements and play with that. Hmm. Craven the Hunter is rated R for strong, bloody violence and language. It premieres in theaters December 13th. Check out the trailer if you haven't already. Marvel Rivals. Cinematic trailer titled No One Rivals Doom gives us an exciting introduction into the story, heroes, and villains of the game. The synopsis reads, As the time stream entanglement engulfs the multiverse, heroes from across time unleash their full strength to combat the most dangerous supervillains they've ever encountered. I'm really looking forward to seeing Magneto and Doctor Doom in action. And this trailer has been out for a second, so go check it out if you haven't already. I'm looking forward to this game so much. And in case you don't already know, PlayStation Plus is free monthly games for August. Lego Star Wars, The Skywalker Saga, Five Nights at Freddy's, Security Breach, Ender Lilies, Quietus of the Nights. So let me know what y'all think of these movies, these series, and the games that are coming out. Y'all gonna be playing some? You're gonna be watching them? You're not gonna be watching them? Let me know. And thank you to the YouTube subscribers and Patreon supporters. Special thanks to our paid tier Patreon supporters. Daniela P, Eric J, Jonathan R, Keith L, Mike V, Shani D. Until next time, stay royal, stay loyal. Peace out.